It's over. You can't get away. Hear me! You're not going to get away with it. I know what you did. I followed the trail of your crimes. I've been to all the places you've spilled blood. There's just one thing that remains a mystery. Why? That's beyond my grasp. So many people have died. Speak up. Tell me why! The question is, why did you do it? He heard you, I know. And I opened your eyes, and then you saw... Your father's reflection in every human being. A world full of beasts in human disguises. No one was innocent. Evil was eating at their consciences like a cancer. And who do you think you are to decide if they deserve to die? They certainly didn't deserve to live. They... Just think about it. Your father's partner, that old crook, desperate to get rid of us. The detective, a vulture, feeding on the tragedy of commoners. Sosita, a miner's widow and a vicious bigot who wished everyone all the worst. And last but not least, the judge, a grafter, and a regular scoundrel. I've seen worse. Right. Your father, a true role model for that small community. I know they were not good people, but what you did to them... I protected us, don't you see? I saved your life. Or maybe you're just a bloodthirsty sadist who looks for guilt in others in order to blot out your own. You know where you would be if it wasn't for me? In that fucking darkness. The old man would be pissing on your grave, and all of fucking Blackstone would still be full of human vermin. Maybe. But that's not an excuse. I don't need one. The choice is simple. You let the vermin spread, and they will take over the world, or you wipe them out, protecting the righteous few. They will call you a lunatic. So what? There must be another way. Like what? You'll wash your hands of it all? You'll hide from humanity in a fucking cave? You'll fall back into madness like the last time? You'll tell the doctors you don't remember anything? Really? If you get rid of me, they'll squash you like a bug. You think you can just snap your fingers and I'll be gone? I'm the one to blame. I won't deny it. It's time to accept the truth about myself. However terrifying it might be. There's a line now between you and me. You've become my prisoner, and you'd better start cooperating. What are you talking about? What are you trying to achieve? I'm the one asking questions here. Name. What kind of sick game is this? Emma, for fuck's sake! Emma. Emma Stevenson. Really? Nadia Kamayeva. In the 60s, you underwent training in one of the KGB centers in Russia. Did you, or did you not? What? What training? Where's my husband? Adam! <laughs> We've recovered part of the report. Maybe all that she told me was a lie. The KGB called those women sparrows. They seduced Americans in order to relay information to Soviet intelligence. Was I really so blinded by love? Where did you get this? Who sent you? She refused to talk, but she doesn't deny the allegations. What happened? What have you done to me? Adam! You! Why? What happened to you? Ten years together. And you've been pretending all this time. Adam, what happened to you? Why are you talking like that? Nicholas was my great-great-grandfather. Would you believe it? His diary opened my eyes. 
You have to be very careful about who you trust. The world is full of beasts. Stop it! You're delusional! It's me. You hear me? I'm your wife. We're expecting a baby. Remember? And war. War creates front lines even in our homes. In our bedrooms. Anyone can be the bad guy. But sometimes... Please. Sometimes it turns out that by fighting evil, we awaken the beast inside. I'm sorry, honey. I'm so sorry. No! What are you doing? 